Hi, I'm Cheryl Purcell, and we're here at PetQuest, and we're going to groom this little mini poodle. Um, she was originally grown into an Asian fusion style, and unfortunately she had a little hot spot, so she was used for demos this weekend. Um, another uh, <clears throat> person groomed this half of her, so I'm going to do this half, and I'm going to show you how to sit in a top line and do her legs, and we're going to leave her ahead because we're going to let that grow back out into an Asian fusion. So, let's get started. I'm gonna use my straights and I wanna stand her in her most natural, comfortable position. There we go. So generally I try not to overstretch them. Um, I, like, I like them to be pretty comfortable because that's the position they're gonna be in most of the time. So that's the position we want them to be groomed in. I'm going to come in and I'm going to come straight across on the top line and I'm going to come right behind the shoulders okay well, her shoulders are right here so I'm going to set it back just a little bit further so I can work into the neck now I have a nice pair of eight and a half straights that I like I'm going to come up along the side and just get a nice level top line going. Now, I can't really start anything else until I get this top line in because the whole groom is going to be set from this. So once my top line is in, I'm going to set my rear angulation. I'm going to put her tail up. And she has a German, German style tail, so we're gonna trim up the back. So we push her tail as far forward as we can, nice and gently. I'm gonna clean on either side of her rectum. And then I'm gonna go straight up her tail. No, 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 baby, shh, 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 good girl. It's a little loud here, so she's a little anxious. What do you see? I'm just gonna bring the arm up just a tiny bit on her. There we go. Oh, girl. She's a pin bone here and a pin bone here. And what I want to do is I want to set her tail in the middle of those two pin bones. Okay, so she can see here and here. And she has a really nice set of tail. She's looking for her mom. <laughs> so I'm going to scissor at the same angle that the pin bone is set at, which is a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to come up. I know, baby girl. And scissor up and off the back and into the leg now. Now you can see she's got a straight top line and she's got the beginning of that angle. Now we're gonna set this angle. I'm gonna scissor from the bend in the leg, which is right about here. And I'm gonna scissor at a 60 degree, which is this angle here, not quite so steep. this point I'm just going to round it in oh, girl now I'm going to hold her tail up <laughs> good girl and I'm going to brush all the hair to one side from the angle I cut in I'm going to come up and I'm going to make a Christmas tree, not quite a carrot. I don't want it really skinny like a carrot tail. I want a little bit more volume to it because it's more like a carry tail. We'll get the other side. 
Now what you're left with is the hair here in the tail. If you brush everything forward, you're going to see this ridge here. What you're going to do is you're going to trim off that ridge. And that gives you a nice blend into the bottom of the tail. I hold it up. And I just scissor around. No, no, no. Like most poodles, <laughs> she doesn't like her tail touched. So what I want to get is the bottom or the very tip of it. I hold it up. Scissor down. Now I'm going to take her tail and I'm going to brush all the hair to one side. And everything that hangs over the line that I trimmed, I'm going to scissor. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, I'm going to trim that. Girl. So now we have the top line, we have this angle, and we have this angle started. Okay. Now this angle here, you're going to pick up her leg, if she'll let me. What I want to do is I want to set the bottom of the bracelet. So I'm going to brush all the hair down. And I'm just going to trim around the bottom. Now her feet aren't shaved because she's grown into a little Asian trim. Which is a little bit more flare on the leg. So we're going to leave it a little full. Stay baby. Good girl. <laughs> there we go. Okay. What I want to do, I'm going to pick up the bottom of the foot. No, no, no. Brush everything up where I scissored earlier, and I'm going to trim that off. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to set the rear angulation for me. Oh, girl. Okay. So now you can see. Stop. Top line, angle, angle, angles. Okay, so that's the beginning of a poodle rear. Now we're going to set her front. Hi, Boo Boo. Good girl. Just going to trim off some of the hair on the bottom of her feet to get that bevel going. And again, her feet aren't clean because she's growing out to a little Asian trim. And that usually has a little bell bottomy leg on it. So for her, a girl. First thing I want to do. I set the angulation under the shoulder. Can you see that? Alright. So the V is set already from when she was clipped. I'm going to brush all that hair up. I'm going to lay my scissors. And I'm going to trim nice and even. So that's going to give me the beginning of my neckline. Right here. Almost, almost. Her point of chest is here. So what I want to do just trim a little bit more of this off. Easy. No, 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 no. Good girl. Okay. So I'm trimming at this angle here. Thank you. We're going to put the lead back on her because she's a little nervous and we don't want to lose her. Good girl. There we go. The next angle I have to set is here. <laughs> so normally what I'll do is I'll hold the leg out straight and I'm going to scissor up to the bend. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Good girl. Now what you're left with is this piece here that needs to be scissored in. Take all that off. And then I'm going to come around the front and I'm going to scissor this angle in right here. And I'm scissoring to that bend in the leg. Good girl. Easy. I know. Mm -hmm. And when I brush her off, you can see there's a little bit of leg hair left that needs to come off. And this piece here that needs to be trimmed in. All I'm doing is taking off the sharp points, okay, so that she has a little bit of chest and some angulation. Mm -hmm. Good girl. I'm gonna pick up her leg. I'm gonna shake her out, and I want to trim the top of it again. Now for me, I like to use a nice straight shear when I'm doing legs. I like to square everything off and then go back later with either my blenders or my curved shears and put my nice little rounded edges on them. I'm gonna come down from her shoulder, straight down her leg. I know. <laughs> She's got a little funny trim on her. So I'm going to try and get a little bit of shoulder layback here. And I follow the flat of the shoulder. I'm not straight up and down. I have a tip just the tiniest bit. Okay, so when I go along the shoulder, it actually follows the way that her shoulder lays. And I'm going to follow that all the way back till I get to my top line. Good girl. Now it's a little hard trying to leave all this neck hair <laughs> for her to do her little Asian in. But I'm just going to show you how to set in the... Here is the tuck up, which is at the last rib. I'm going to take that and I'm going to scissor forward into the shoulder. Now she pretty much has this line set already. It comes to the bottom of the elbow and the tuck up at the last rib. Comes up. I'm going to take just the tiniest bit off. Set the line underneath. And then what we're going to do is we're going to roll the barrel of the chest into the bottom so she doesn't look slab sided which is just exactly what it says one little slab ah. how do you see yeah you see she's got this big heavy part of her shoulder left what we're going to do is we're going to blend from the front into the back. Oh, girl, don't do that. And I like to angle the scissors in the direction that I want the angle to go. It seems to help get a nice crisp angle in there. I know, baby. I'm going to check underneath again. Ah, ah, ah. 
Watch me. No, watch me. <laughs> She's so looking for her mama. That's why we hate it in the salon when mama show up early and we're still trying to work on their babies. Girl. So she still has a little bit of a point that I want to take out. I'm going to brush up the hair in the back and from just behind the shoulder I'm going to scissor straight down. straight back and up into the arm. Good girl. <laughs> What's left is to set the front of her leg what we're going to do we're going to grab her leg from the knee I'm going to come straight up into the tuck up okay. and comb her out to the side from the bevel I'm going to come up into the knee Brush out the leg, and scissors straight down. That's not for you. To get the inside of the leg, I usually pick up the opposite leg and hold the tail, comb everything up, and just scissor straight down. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Now, the back of the hawk. Generally, what I'll do is fluff it all out. And I like to come in at an angle right here to the bevel. Once I have the inside and the outside trimmed, I'm going to pick up her leg and I'm going to brush all the hair to one side. No, no, no. Everything that hangs over the angle that I've already cut, I'm going to trim. No, no, no. Same thing, I'm brush everything. Good girl. To the opposite side and trim off anything that hangs over. Oh no no. And she's got a little bit of breakage back here. Because her hair was long, and when it's really long, you'll end up with a lot of breakage on it. So we're just gonna round that in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blenders and I'm just going to blend it nice and easy so I can get a soft trim on it without taking too much hair off. Mm -hmm. Now she didn't have too much to take off the front of her leg so we're just going to fluff that up. No, 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 stop. in to the thigh itself so that it blends nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Now I'd like her 
to stretch out. I don't know if she will. Just the tiniest bit so that I can get that angle in. A lot of times when I'm doing these poodles, I'll just hold them in place because they're very fidgety sometimes. Just soften that up. So, what we have is the beginnings of a outline on your standard, on your standard, on your mini poodle. Mm -hmm. I'm cutting just a little bit more into here so she doesn't look slab sided. Now poodles, when you look above them, they actually have a waist. So there's a thigh, you come in, there's a little waist, you come out, there's the rib cage. So just to recap real quick for the outline of a German trim. We have cut this line in this way, cut this line in this way, so we make our triangle. We're going to come straight down the leg in the rear. We set our angle here, we set our angle here, and then our angle here. And come up to the tuck up, down and straight. Now obviously you need to go back and touch up all your work and do your fine finishing, but that is the beginning of your profile. Thank you. Good girl.